Daimyo. Oh, I love it. No, I'm not saying that oh. one yet. Uh, there, we're just talking about it, so we're so excited. There is 456 players from all over the world trying to make it to the end, and we're joined now by two of them, Tio and B. Good morning. Am I saying your name right, Tio? Oh, Tio. Tio, Tio, no, Tio. No, I want to get that right. <laughs> Guys, so yesterday, before I even knew you were on the show today, I saw that the challenge had dropped, and I was like, I'm in. I binged all five episodes and then nearly had a breakdown when I realised they'd only dropped <laughs> half of the series. I was like, oh my God, so if I'm up to episode no, five... No, but it's good, because I can catch up with Ryland. Yeah, you, so it's really you've, good. you've seen two episodes, I've haven't you? I've seen two you? episodes. But so... we're not going to give any spoilers yeah, away. It's no not spoilers. what we're going to do. But, I mean, the success of Squid Game, the series, was just a global phenomenon, as we've just said. What on earth made the pair of you want to go <laughs> in to Squid Game, the challenge? Because after watching it, it's... It's a mirror to the series, mm -hmm. isn't it? What was it like for you? Honestly, it was incredible. Like, it was so immersive and like, I was so grateful for the opportunity. And literally how I got on it was a friend of mine sent me like an Instagram advert. And I was like, you know what, let me just apply off a whim. And after a few interview processes later, I managed to get it. And honestly, it was one of the best experiences of my life. So I'm, I'm super grateful for it. it was well, you feature quite heavily in episode one. Yes. Because you do very, very well at the first game. Dude, Again, no spoilers. No, we no can spoilers. say you make it through the first game. We're going to yeah. say that. Yeah. You were the um, first one to make it through. Let's just give a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. It was Let's the first one to cross You absolutely no, no. smashed that game. You were the first one to get to the other side, weren't you? There you yeah. are. Look. Red light, green light. And it, it's exactly like the film, isn't it? It's, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Like, the, to the set design, it was, it was incredible. And the doll itself, it was so tall and just, like, so so crazy to actually be a part of it and honestly we were, we were super nervous all of us at the start line but we just tried to do our best and um, my tactic was just to yeah don't squat for sure and just yes. keep it moving and just keep your hands in your pocket and just go for it. And Did you see the girl who squatted? Yeah. She squatted, she started shaking and it was so <laughs> long before she turned her head. She just gave up in the end. And, and for anyone who don't know what that game is, red light, green light, you've basically just got to run to one end of the room to the other yeah. and there's like this scary doll that you've just seen and every time it looks, you have to freeze. It's sort of like musical it's statue. It's so, so good. But obviously in the film they died, but they still put this ink thing on you, don't they? Shame. Yeah. So it blows up. Is it still... Well, I don't know if you're dead yet, because obviously you filmed the series. I don't, one We're of you could be that. a millionaire sitting right here before you're we know. You're going to watch and find out. <laughs> We're going to watch and find out. Well, look, I have watched it, but what I want to ask you, B, mm -hmm. is you come in slightly later yeah. into the actual series yeah. itself. Again, not to give anything away. But one thing that really struck a chord with me is that you said, you know, I like to, I tend to stay in the background a lot because mm -hmm. there's 456 players mm -hmm. that you start with. You then all move into this massive dormitory, which is why we're on these beds. This isn't our choice, by the <laughs> way. Yeah. Um, but there are there's like hundreds and hundreds of beds in, in what looks like a warehouse. You can see it there now. You said, I like to stay in the background, but people underestimate me. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you were saying something about your IQ. You're a very clever woman. Yes. I mean, I think everyone's really clever in their own way. And IQ is a measurement, really, of speed of thought above everything, which can be really useful when you're under time pressure, doing challenges, like having to think of strategies with a lot of eyes on you, dependencies, like games like Warship. So yeah. it comes in handy, but it's not like... There are many ways that other people are immensely clever that aren't necessarily IQ as well. No, but you are a gamer, though, aren't you? You're into yes. games. So do you feel that that set you ahead, oh. the fact that you was into gaming? Definitely. I think, um, above everything, it gave me this attitude that I think where you forget, really, you're on TV anyway and mm. you are going in to have fun and I think that really makes you loosen up a bit and it gave me the guarantee that I was going to have a good experience, which also gives you an edge because you've got the confidence mm. and you've got, like, the ability to, to play around with your strategy a bit. And one thing that I've noticed that's really different from the series is we're seeing a lot more social interaction Absolutely. during the challenge. So, a bit like how we would I say, like, like Big Brother and stuff yeah. like that, you see alliances form. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, it all comes down to the games. There are social challenges that happen as well in the dorm rooms as well, which is very different yeah. to the series, yeah. where people will get eliminated and people will get benefits and things like that. Yeah. How hard is it to sort of make friends in an experience that's so crazy in your own head, but then to see those people actually just leave straight away? They're gone. Yeah, it, it was tough. Like, we, we really bonded deeply with these people yeah. because we were, we were literally there 24-7. Like, it felt like a prison, honestly. We Absolutely. only had ourselves, literally, to, you know, talk to, get to know each other, form alliances. Uh, and, yeah, when someone got eliminated and cut out like that, it was... It was you really kind of cared, in a way, which was surprising because, obviously, we're on the game show to win yeah. this money and eliminate each other. So, yeah, it, it was amazing. It was a real test of character, for sure, as well. Yeah, you've and, got uh, those, like, yeah. moments where you're waiting for people to come back from games. And they don't. And, yeah, and you've bonded with them and you're sitting so and you're good. staring at the door. Yeah. 
and they never come through. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a, it's a really bizarre feeling because you're thinking I should be happy because yeah. mm -hmm. the competition's down, but yeah. you're not. And they also give you little tests as well, so you can decide whether or not you're going to evict someone, get rid of somebody, yeah. or you're going to help somebody in the next challenge. I think that was the, the point where you really see what someone's morals are. Mm. Exactly. And it, that's, again, what, when I go back to a test of character, like, it really tested your morals, so... Um, I tried myself to be genuine as possible. Yeah. And, uh, we'll, oh, we'll you see, were. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens on the show. But honestly, like, it was, yeah, it was tough for a lot of people. So, yeah. well, one thing that really struck a chord with me is we know Squid Games. If you've if you've not seen the series, I would definitely say watch it. Yeah, you go watch the series that first. itself. Is it just makes so much more sense when you watch the challenge. But the games, I mean, this is big budget. There's four and a half million dollars up for grabs for the winner. Four hundred fifty-six players. Wow. One person's going to win that. Mm -hmm. But let alone everything else surrounding it, the games are spectacular. Like to watch, it's it's you know it's like Big Brother on steroids. It's so, it's so good. How, it, how it looks. However, these tests that we've been talking about, which don't feature in the series, just the challenge. Yeah. They are so clever because they're so simple. It's literally tests along the lines of just punching someone's number you want to get rid of, yeah. and the more people that add that number, people can go and stuff like. that but seeing the way people move in social yeah. circles, because mm -hmm. this isn't just, you know, 10 players from Britain may have crossed paths at some point. This is 456 players from all over the world. So yeah. there's a lot of cultural differences with people, how people connect. Did you did you think you made friends in there? Oh, I absolutely did, yeah. Did you? I mean, even me and you got on, yeah. to be fair, really well. And I made people who I would consider absolutely friends for life because you just... You, I mean, you know, you've done Big Brother, you know that when you're under that kind of... You need immersive... alliances, don't yeah. you? Yeah, or yeah, even yeah. just, like, emotionally, you need to You create a, a fake family. Yeah. yeah. Sort of what you've got on the outside, you mirror on the yeah. inside. Precisely. Yeah, precisely. And, and, and you get the attachment that comes with that, and it's so real in the moment as well. Yeah. I really like, um, you know, the, the son and mother. Oh, yeah. oh. I really... Because, obviously, I'm only two episodes in. I'm really hoping they stay to yeah. the end. I love... That, that relationship. Yeah, what was their dynamic like? Obviously, because they've gone in as yeah. individual players, but I, if I was in there with my mum, yeah. I'd be like, do I save my mum, yeah. do I save myself? Yeah. What, were, what were they like? Did you meet them? Yeah, I managed to speak briefly with Leanne and Trey, and they were, they were amazing people. Like, um, a lot of people loved them in the dorms, and um, yeah, it was, it was a great experience. And like I said, with, with them, they were almost dark horses in a way, because yeah. people did not expect them to fare well in a lot of the channels, or I personally wouldn't have expected them. But then I soon came to realise, like, a lot of these games aren't just physical. Yeah. There's a lot of like mm. mental strategy to it as well. So you really had to like play your cards right and, and get to know a lot of people. And, yeah. Um, yeah, that was kind of my strategy, just be a lone wolf and just flow about and get to know everyone. Well, there's a little twist that comes up in the third game. We've all seen the series. <laughs> I presume that you'd all seen the series before you went in. Yeah. And when you're expecting to do a tug of war game, it's not what you would expect. And you will have to choose <laughs> your own teams, don't you, in, yeah. in that moment. Mm -hmm. And you see all the big burly ones go, come on, we're going to be all right with it. But like you just said, that's where I think that's where you very much come into your own. I had a great time. A hundred percent. Yeah. So when it comes down to like that mental side of stuff, how do you stay calm? Because I don't mean to be rude, but this this is really frightening me. The guards, <laughs> and they're there the that's whole time throughout your experience. Yeah. What is it like being watched by these figures? Do you know what they actually led us into a lot of the games as well, yeah. and and I think that really sets the mood for you yeah. on the way in, which is genuinely. Super intimidating. There they are. And yeah. serving so up this lunch and dinner scary. and all of that is bizarre. But um, even though they're in character 90% of the time, there was one moment where I was able to get one to be a little Stop bit. It. What did you do? Platform, go on. I mean, we had these areas at the back of the dorms that they patrol like on platforms. Yeah. And one of them was staring down at me, very like reverse role Rapunzel. Yeah. yeah. And I was looking at him and I just kind of made a face and he broke character for one second just to go like this to me. Oh, I love that. And it was, the, it was the highlight. Like, you know, we're bored, we're tired at that point because it's been a long day and it really it made, really made my day. He probably got sat the next day, didn't he? I, you know what? <laughs> he was killed. I did not he see him. He was killed on sight. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Can I just ask, practically, what can you have in there? Did they give you deodorant, shampoo, everything in there? Or do you just literally have that tracksuit? Well, I saw in the, in the bathroom there was like a deodorant thing yeah. and a lotion. Is that all we have? I mean, I wouldn't call it deodorant. It was a bit like... It was like a spray, <laughs> was it? Yeah. You can't have any of your own luxuries? No. 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 And they, they did provide it, yeah. but to varying degrees of success with the deodorant, <laughs> as the further things go. Well, I mean, when you're sharing a room with 100 people, it yeah. must stink in there. Oh, it? yeah, like... it was without blame. Like, we, we all knew what was going on. We're all going to be a bit stinky now, and that's yeah. OK. And I take it you've seen some of the episodes already. Back? Yep. How does it feel and how does it compare? Because as a viewer, I feel like I'm watching it and I'm in it. Yeah. I feel like I'm there. Does it feel like that for the pair of you? 
Oh, for sure. Like, it's, <laughs> it's still so surreal, but at the same time, like, um, it, it's nice to relive those moments because yeah. it was a big, like, moment in our lives. Like, honestly, we were, like, totally cut off from the outside world mm. for, like, almost two weeks, like, and it was, it was incredible. Like, it was, it was an amazing experience on my part. But... Babe, what about you? Absolutely. And, and, you know, we had all of these questions about what was going on, especially when there's so many people in the early games, like, who was talking to who? How mm. did this person get out? Because we don't find out Alliance. until we watch it back. It, oh, it's so good. good. It is so brilliant. I mean, so Squid Game The Challenge yeah. is, is on Netflix now, the first five episodes. You've got to check it. We don't know who's won, but if one of you has won, can you lend us a tenner? <laughs> oh. Is that right? Of course. Good luck in the series. Hi, OB. So Thank nice you so very much. Um,